Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can find all the important transaction code, uh, function modules, uh, tables, um, anything related with development objects and that can be helpful. How can you find those? So suppose I want to find for FB03. So FB03 is nothing but related with finance. Okay, so if I don't know anything about finance, and suppose I don't want, I want to know all the information what are the different tables and all those things, how will I know? So if I go here, I go to FB03, that's the most important transaction, one of the most important transaction for finance, okay? And here I go to system status, okay? And here I'll just go to program. And from there, once I, this shows up, the program, I go to go to attributes, okay? And from here, I'll get the package. Okay, now I will just create a new session. And sometimes this package can be a, can be a full name or it can be a subset of the whole uh, function, uh, a whole module. Okay, so I'm going to creating a new session. I go to SCAT, pretty simple. I go to SCAT. And now from here, what I'll do, I'll just give this package. So here, if you see, I give this package name and from here, I'll start with the dictionary, dictionary objects, which is the database tables. What are the different database tables? Tables are very important, but it's a bread and butter for every, every technical as well as functional person. So here you can see all these tables that are available. Okay, So you can find some other views and all those things will be also there. So you can find all the config tables out there also. So now if you want to check the views, you can get all the views that you can think of. And this is also very helpful. You can know what are the different views are there. Okay. And from here, you can find the search helps. So search helps related with taxes, you name it, you get all the search helps from here. Okay. Another important thing is that you, you will find is the different transaction codes that are associated with this. Every, so here you can find all the transaction codes related with the finance, okay, especially for invoice related, and the journal entries and all those things. Here also you can get the set get parameters, which is, which can do magic uh, in, in the help of user interaction. Okay, so this is also very very helpful. Uh, now here there are other stuffs that can be helpful. Okay, you have the switch framework object that's a new, new means it was there, but it's it's going to be more. Uh, progressive in this Pohana environment, okay, and you have RFC services that that is basically the type of uh, now web services that you can use. There are enhancements for sure. These are very important. When enhancements are the, are very very important. You have the classic baddies and all those things that you want to check. There are other stuffs that can be also helpful. So this is these are the stuffs that you can get, and there are other other pieces that you can also check. For sure, you want to see the workflows that are associated with it. Okay, so you can just click on this, and here I went to best. Okay, so let me click on this. And if I go to the business object types, okay, I can get all the business objects that are associated with finance. Okay, you can see BKPA, BSEC, you name it, you get it fit as for the parked invoice. Okay, and you have workflow standard tasks that you can use so if you want to know what it actually does you can just double click on it and it will take you there i think the 8142 i know because this would be probably posting a part invoice something like that um let me see if i'm right or not uh, so yeah post part invoice so, you can use so this is very handy and you can use you can find so in a matter of probably two five minutes if you just know the transaction code and now you know a lot of things and now you can talk with your functional person business person okay because at the end of the day everything is dealt with tables enhancements and all those things so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a